Early in the morning. What's going on, people? It's your boy Cam Topical Juice, and I'm back with another video for y'all today. Um, apologies for not uploading for a few days. That's been intentional, by the way. I haven't uploaded for a few days because I wanted to let my video that I uploaded on Monday. I wanted to let it marinate over, over the week a little bit. It's quite a long video. I wanted to give it time to let pe let people have a chance to see it. And to be honest with you, the viewership hasn't been as good as I'd like it to be. This is a really, really good video, guys. Very, very good video. I, I don't upload shit videos, you know what I'm saying? I really want you guys to tune into that video. It's a very, very interesting discussion, so I'd really appreciate if you guys check that one out there. Trust me, trust me. There's going to be way more interviews like that going forward as well. That's definitely going to be a segment into my, into my YouTube, so I want you lot to get used to it. Definitely check that video out, man. Come on, bro. This video is quite interesting because... I'm not too sure what to title it yet, but either way, it's going to be something along the lines of uh, something about crying myself to sleep or something like that. Now, it, this, the title's probably, you're probably wondering what the title means, what it could be about, what does it mean, is it clickbait, is it is just being dramatic? And the answer is no, it's not clickbait and no, I'm not being dramatic. This used to happen, I used to cry myself to sleep over this. And what inspired this video is one of my best friends, one of my sisters, I ain't going to say her name because we spoke privately about some stuff. But one of my sisters, she's kind of going through a bit of a slump, a bit of a rut, and she's questioning certain things. And what she's going through right now is something that I went through 15 years ago. And what she's going through is a bit of an existential crisis right now. I'm sure a lot of you have asked the bigger questions before. Why are we here? What's the meaning of life? What's my purpose? Yeah, and it's those type of questions there yeah, that can drive a person crazy. Because if you've got the capacity and the depth in your mind to take it there, to really take it to those deep, dark kind of places in your mind, not necessarily dark like suicidal, but as in just deep places in your mind, yeah, you can, you can lose yourself in, in those questions. And those are the type of questions, yeah, that I would think about every single day before I went to sleep. Every day, without fail. And I would cry. Literally, I'm a kid. It definitely was into my teens, but I, I, honestly, I was asking these questions from such a young age, and I don't even know where I get it from. I'll, I'll keep it trilly with you, because as far as I can see in my 26 years of living and being raised in my family, no one in my family thinks as deeply as I do. You feel me? That's no one. None of my aunties, cousins. No one can. No one takes it to those places where I take where I take it, and. Um, it's a shame because I wish there was people in my family that I could talk to about that talk to things like this. And my mum knows this. My mum knows this. I've told my mum, I've told my mum ages ago that I used to cry myself to sleep over this. And what used to bring me to tears, yeah, is the fact that I couldn't answer it. Do you understand? Is the fact that I couldn't answer any of them. I, I, I would I would go round and round and round until I'd fall asleep. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is part of the video, so. Let me get into this. Make sure you like the video for me. Smash that uh, subscribe button for me. Hit the bell to be notified for me. And yeah, if you want to support your boy's merch in the description below, cool. So, as I was saying, these type of questions, yeah, they can drive you crazy. As I said, I used to, I used to think about these as a kid every single day. Do you know the type of questions that I would cry about? Like, I'd be like, yo, what came before humans? Oh, okay, like, who, who made the earth? How did the earth get here? And then, okay, what, what came before the earth? Oh, the universe and whatever, like, so, but then what created the universe? But if there was nothing, if there was just pure blackness, pure, pure empty space, like just pure black or pure white or pure nothingness, what came before that? Do you understand? Do you, can, you, can you see how you can get into, especially as a kid, as a child, can you see as a, as a child how you can get into a rabbit hole of thinking? And I would just cry, because I'd be like, what is this? Like, what is the meaning of all this, right? And having a conversation with my close friend and giving her advice and talking to her about these things, I was sat at work today and I thought to myself, you know what, this is a good video topic because she ain't the only one feeling like this. I believe that a hell of a lot of people, especially after Corona, after lockdown, after this whole 2020 happened, I think a lot of people are questioning their reality. They're questioning their existence. People are starting to realize that Nothing just seems real anymore. Do you feel me? Like, what, what's going on here? Like, what is the meaning? Like, I'm waking up. I'm waking up every day, but what am I waking up for? You know, one minute the rules are this and one minute life is that and then it changes, right? I'm sure I'm not the only one that thinks like this. I'm sure, in fact, I even did a video last year saying, talking about this, talking about how lockdowns affecting man's mental health and that. And a bit of people were agreeing with me. So let me ask you a little question, my audience. How many of you feel different after 2020, after this whole lockdown, after 
on everything. How many of you feel different? How many of you are still waiting for life to kind of resume? Even though life has resumed, even though you can go to clubs, even though you can go to events, you ain't got to wear your mask no more. You ain't got to go, we're not, not in lockdown. Why is it that things don't seem real? Let me tell you something. It's because they're not, <laughs> do you understand? I, I knew this way before the corona existed, way before lockdown existed, way before all of this. I, my mind takes it there. My mind's always taking it to these places, right? Life, the life that we know isn't real, you lot. Yeah, that's the, that's the first thing I want to say. I want to get, get to kind of like my advice part of the video at some point after this, but I want to make this point. Everything you see around you is not real. Yeah, the world wasn't designed this way. You, do you understand? It wasn't made this way. The world that you see around you, it wasn't designed in some image and like a blueprint. The world that, we were, that I was born into, I'm not just born into a vacuum. Everything has come from something before it, do you understand? So the world you see around you is just a product of societal evolution, we can call it. Let's call it that, societal evolution. It's not real. Yeah, the rules we follow, the laws that are in play, it's not real. It's not the way, it's not the, way the world was designed. It's literally just how humans have evolved and obviously how societies have evolved and how um, cultures have evolved. And you know, we need, uh, someone decided thousands of years ago that we needed order and law and things like that and, and, and bills and currency. You know, all, the, all these things are, are human imagination. So everything you see around you from the mirror that I'm looking at there to this camera I'm recording on to a lamppost, the world wasn't designed that way. The only thing that is real in this world is nature. Yeah, that's the only thing that is real. That's the only thing that's actually, that wasn't constructed. It was just nature, your trees, the wind, the ocean, your animals, yeah? That's, the, that's what I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to fuck off all this, this cap capitalist shit, this westernized shit, where my mind feels trapped in this shit, where I feel like I'm in jail in this shit, and go where I'm free. Nature, peace, and all that. You understand? So bringing it back to the point of corona and lockdown and things like that, I think lockdown and corona and all the rule changes and law changes and everything that's happened since corona has happened has made people realize that your reality, that safe reality that you kind of thought you lived in where you go into your nine to five every day, your rat race and you come home and you cook your dinner and you watch your football on a Sunday, all that kind of comfortable reality that you got used to, in a flick of a switch or in a, in a change of law or whatever, or, or the prime minister's decision making or whatever, in, 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 in like that, it can change. And I think people are starting to feel the, the mental effects of that. People are starting to think like, rah, like, what's even real no more? Like, what's, what, what is this? What is life? What is life? I think people are asking that. And man was really asking those questions, flipping near enough to two decades ago. Do you understand? Before I was even old enough to really deep that type of stuff. But listen, Get into the main point of the video now, because I've been talking and talking and talking for a minute now. Is that you lot don't don't worry in it. Do you understand? Don't don't worry. Don't be concerned that you're having the, you're feeling vacant. Don't be concerned that you're feeling distant. You know what I'm saying? This is very natural. We have just come out of a of a lockdown of a of a whole pandemic, a global pandemic that has affected us in crazy crazy ways. Do you understand? And the main point I want to get to is that whenever you start questioning your reality, having these existential crises, or whatever the word is, crises, or whatever, when you start asking these bigger questions, you can really, you can really not find happiness anywhere. The idea here is that you give yourself purpose. Yeah, that's that's this is what I've learned from asking these questions, from being in my own head for all these years and just taking it to these deep places. You need to find your purpose. Yeah, the purpose is, we, we, we don't have purpose here when we're born. You do realize that, innit? We, as much as people want to think we do, and people want to believe in certain things, okay, you can believe in fate and stuff, that's cool. Like, I, I believe I was, maybe I was born to make a difference in the world, whatever, potentially, whatever. If I believe that, I, I don't know what I believe in terms of that, but either way, we're not born with purpose, I believe. I believe we have to navigate this world and find it. So for me, yeah, I'll, I'll tell my story real quick. I found my purpose when I was 16 years old. Yeah, that was my first purpose. When I joined my sixth form, I met my whole gang. Yeah, and we, well, I knew, I knew half of them beforehand, but only sporadically here, there. We became, we all went to the same school at sixth form. We became a gang, tight knit. Yeah, and I'm not talking five, six people. Yeah, I'm talking that gang expanded to 100, 
200 strong. Do you understand? I, I've got a whole, I've got the whole ends behind me, and I'm behind all of them. We're a very tight knit community. So my first ever purpose was them. Yeah, I knew exactly where I belonged in this world when I met them. Do you understand? I was, I'm 16. I'm coming into that adulthood where my identity is completely in disarray because I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm black, but I'm coming home to a white family that don't get it and this, that, and I'm dealing with this trauma. Well, I'm, 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 I ain't even started dealing with my traumas yet. And blah, 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 blah. But when I met them, they gave me that purpose to keep living. It's not like I was suicidal, but I knew exactly where I belonged after meeting them, after we became a gang. Do you feel me? So that was my first purpose, and to this day, they're the main reason why I'm so driven in a lot of ways. That was the first step. But the second step for me was, what's gonna, what, what do I wanna achieve in this world? What am I gonna leave? When I die, what's gonna be the, what's, what am I leaving behind? And that's when I started to deep, I need a legacy. And when I drop dead, that cannot be the end of me. I want my name to be ringing off a thousand years after I'm gone. Why do you think my name rings off in schools that I ain't been to in 15 years? Why do you think my name still rings off in old jobs? Old, in, in old jobs in, in uh, they're, they're still talking about me then. Because anywhere I go, I leave a footprint. I, I, I'm, I'm memorable and that's not me being arrogant. That's, that's, that's intentional. I want people to know who I am. I want people to remember me. Yeah, I don't care if they're chatting bad. They can, they can chat good or bad, I don't give a fuck. But, but, but you know me, <laughs> do you understand? People know me. So I thought to myself, how can I then translate that into life? So my purpose was clear after that. I'm gonna change the world. And people think it's a, oh, that's a bit of a big thing. No, it's not. Any one of these millionaires could change the world. They just don't bother. They're all fucking greedy, yeah? I'm gonna, my, my purpose now, what, what, what makes me not think about these big questions anymore or whatever, what, 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 gets, what makes me get up and do my work and what drives me every day is my desire to change the world. When I've got enough money, I am going to build infrastructure all across Africa, all across Guyana, yeah? Schools, transport links, whatever, anything. I will build infrastructure out there, something, something that will, something better than just sending 10 pound a month to a charity that doesn't even give it to them. Yeah, I wanna see the results. I wanna build a school, I wanna build a bridge, I wanna build a road, do you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna do that. I don't care if I do it in the next 10 years or if I do it when I'm 80, I will do it, do you understand? So that's the thing, that's the thing that is driving me. That's my purpose. And that's the point I wanna to get to in this video is that you have to find yours. And I believe that a lot of people here yeah, are thinking these existential things. They're having these deep, dark thoughts in their mind. But you just have to find your purpose, innit? You have to think about what you love, yeah? And what you want to achieve in this life. And yeah, I believe that once you find that, you have a lot of ease. You have a sense of, well, a sense of purpose, a sense of passion, a drive, a motivation to want to achieve these things. Ultimately, I did not plan this video in the slightest. This is this is all off the off my off the cuff. Do you know what I'm saying? All off the cuff, because I've been there. Do you understand? I've been there, and my friend is currently there. And I said the same thing to her. You know, you have to cherish the little moments, cherish the little things. You know, don't worry so much, and actually live in the moment, live in the present. Actually, really be present. Meditation helps with that as well. Be present. Don't, it's easy, yeah, it's very easy in this London life. It's very easy in this fast paced capitalist uh, society to, to, to not have a, to not be present and not have a breath. Cause you're uh, rushing to the train station and you're rushing to work and then you get back and you're tired and this, that. You, you seem to just glide through life and all of a sudden you blink, it's 10 years gone by. It's very important, yeah, to really appreciate and cherish the little things. Like I am currently right now, appreciating the fact that I'm just talking to the camera right now, talking to you guys right now. You understand? I'm appreciating that. That's a little win for my, that's, that's, that's a win for me today. You feel me? You know, when I'm on holiday, fam, when I'm on holiday with a gang, ask them, what well, I'm saying ask them, like I'm chatting to my, my brethren, like you know them. But like, if you ask them, yeah, they will tell you. Every holiday for years, I say you man, when I'm on the plane, while we're on the plane, in fact, before we even get to the plane, when we're at the airport, days, days prior, I'm saying you man. When we're out there, we need to cherish every moment. I'm not saying cherish just the partying. I'm not saying cherish just the, the naughtiness that you might get up to. I'm talking about every single second. You cherish that moment you wake up on holiday. You cherish that moment you're walking uh, on the strip on a holiday you, or you're walking to the pool every second. 
that drink you're having on the beach when the sun's on you and you're reading a book. Because when you blink, it's gone. Let me just wrap up on this, yeah? Be present. Some maybe a couple times in a day or one time in a day, one time a week, whatever it is, whatever you want. I'm not gonna give you the answer, everyone's different. But be present, be as present as you can. Appreciate the little things and cherish the little things and just stay grounded because we can always, we can lose ourselves in this big world and it's asking the questions and wondering where we fit in it and our identity this and crisis here and bigger questions there, why are we here, Wait, what's, what's the purpose and who made the world, all this stuff, right? But really living in the moment, you feel more alive, do you understand? And then finally, Again, I'll reiterate what I said earlier. Purpose, without purpose, we will kill ourselves. And that's, that's real. You, you can't wander around aimlessly in this life and have no purpose, you won't last. But finding our purpose is hard. I knew exactly what I wanted to achieve in this world. I, I knew exactly the footprint that I, or I, I know exactly the footprint I wanna leave. So it, it eventually came to me what my purpose was and it's to make a difference in this world. And, and, and I've already done that anyway. You know, the DMs that I've been getting over the last year, it's humbling, you know, and, I, and I'm only 33,000 subscribers deep. When I'm, when I'm 3 million subscribers deep, we can really make a difference. But the thing is, yeah, I need you lot. Yeah, I need you lot to share my channel. I need you lot to subscribe. Yeah, I need you lot to watch my videos when I post them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I really, no, it really means a lot. And even if you don't watch them, Actually, because I feel like we're friends, innit? I feel like I'm friends with my subscribers. Listen, you lot, before I go, if you can't watch my video yet, or even if you don't want to, I appreciate it if you just put it on in a different tab. Open up your laptop, put it on in a different tab, mute it. That will still really, really help me, honestly, rather than just not um, tuning in whatsoever. So anyway, man, um, I hope you kind of got what I was trying to achieve with this video, because I don't even know what I was trying to achieve with this video, but I wanted to talk about it anyway, because my sister's going through it right now. And, and yeah, man, um, in fact, I'm gonna send you this video. Um, when you watch this, not if, when you watch this, I love you. And um, yeah, man, we need to link up. But yeah, man, like, comment, subscribe, let me know your thoughts. Yeah, let me know your thoughts of all this. So you, have you been questioning like stuff after lockdown? And even before, forget just lockdown. Have you been question, Have you been having these big existential questions like I have for years prior as well? Let me know in your thoughts, uh, let, me, let me know in the comments below. And um, yeah, man, like, comment, subscribe, support your boys, merch. I'll see you soon, peace.